People across our country are struggling with the cost of living and they're struggling with their energy bills. And that is why I, as Prime Minister, will take immediate action to help people with the cost of their energy bills. And I will be making an announcement to this House on that tomorrow and giving people certainty to make sure that they are able to get through this winter and be able to have the energy supplies and be able to afford it. But we can't just deal with today's problem. We can't just put a sticking plaster on it. What we need to do is increase our energy supplies long term. And that is why we will open up more supply in the North Sea, which the Honourable Gentleman has opposed. That is why we will build more nuclear power stations, which the Labour Party didn't do when they were in office. And that is why we will get on with delivering the supply as well as helping people through the winter. Well, I look forward to tomorrow's statement, but the money's got to come from somewhere. Uh, and she, she knows that every single pound in excess profits she chooses not to tax is an extra pound on borrowing that working people will be forced to pay back for decades to come. More borrowing than is needed. That's the true cost of her choice to protect oil and gas profits, isn't it? Mr Speaker, the reality is that this country will not be able to tax its way to growth. The way way we will grow our economy is by attracting investment, keeping taxes low, delivering the reforms to build projects quicker. That is the way that we will create jobs and opportunities across our country. So, Mr Speaker, her first act as Prime Minister is to borrow more than is needed because she won't touch excess oil and gas profits. On that topic, how much would her planned corporation tax cut hand out to companies? The right hon. Gentleman is looking at this in the wrong way. Corporation tax, we attracted more revenue into the Exchequer because more companies wanted to base themselves in Britain, more countries wanted to invest more companies wanted to invest in our country. And if taxes are put up and raised to the same level as France, which is what the current proposal is, and which I will change as Prime Minister, that will put off investors, it will put off uh, those companies investing our economy, and ultimately that will mean fewer jobs, less growth, and less opportunities across our country. The Prime Minister claims to be breaking orthodoxy, but the reality is she's reheating George Osborne's failed corporation tax plan, protecting oil and gas profits, and forcing working people to pay the bill. She's the fourth Tory Prime Minister in six years. The face at the top may change, but the story remains the same. There is nothing new about the Tory fantasy of trickle-down economics. Nothing new about this Tory Prime Minister who nodded through every single decision that got us into this mess and now says how terrible it is. And can't she see... There's nothing new about a Tory Prime Minister who, when asked who pays, says it's you, the working people of Britain. Well, there's nothing new about a Labour leader who is calling for more tax rises. is about reducing taxes, getting our economy growing, getting investment, getting new jobs for people right across the country. I'm afraid to say the right honourable gentleman doesn't understand aspiration. He doesn't understand opportunity. He doesn't understand that people want to keep more of their own money. And that is what I will deliver as Prime Minister. I will take immediate action to help people with their energy bills 
but also secure our long-term energy supply. I will take immediate action to make sure we have lower taxes and we grow the economy. And that way, I will ensure we have a positive future for our country and we get Britain moving. Yeah.